Hey guys, welcome back to Whitetail Affinity. In today's video, I wanted to go through and show you guys my honest review and honest opinions about these Tacticam X-Pro cellular trail cameras after about a year of using them. And I just wanted to go through some of the features that they have, some of the things that I've seen that I like that I, and some that I don't like, and let you guys know and decide from there. So thank you for joining me in today's video. Let's get into it. Now off the bat with some technical specs, these are a 16 megapixel camera. They have an 80 foot detection range and they run on 12 AA batteries. They come with both AT&T and Verizon SIM cards. So depending on which one works best in your area is the one that you'd put in it. And they, you do have to run a class 10 U3 SD card, 32 gig or higher for the best image quality and for the camera to work properly. Now, like other Tacticam models, this X-Pro has a removable antenna, but it has, a, it also has an LCD screen in here that's about an inch and five eighths wide by an inch and a quarter tall, which really comes in handy when you're mounting this on the tree, trying to get the best angle to see the best shot of, of your, your target area. So that is one nice perk, and it also comes with a strap to strap it to the tree. Now, as far as pictures and, and videos go, this thing is pretty good. You have a lot of different options as far as what plan to choose from. You have standard definition photos, and you can also upgrade to high definition photo and video. Here's some image, images here and videos. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty good quality, even the standard definition ones. They, it sends really good pictures, especially for the, the price point. These cameras run anywhere from $125 to $150 a piece for one, um, and, and up to $300 for a two-pack. That's with SD cards. So it's really not a bad deal. It's an intermediate price point, and they, they worked very well for me last year, and I'm probably going to use them again this year. And now, as with anything, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. If I could change a few things about this camera, there's about three things that I'd change. One would be this antenna. It's nice. It's got, a, it's got, it swivels all around like that. Pretty cool. It's detachable, screws right off of there. But threading it on can be kind of a pain to begin with. And also when you go to put it in your bag, you almost have to take it off because just the way that it sticks out that far below the bottom or above the top, it's just not very packable when you go to put it in your bag. So that's one thing that I don't like about it. I wish they would build it to where it's collapsible or at least, or goes inside the camera in some way, just to kind of get it out of the way and just have the camera body itself uh, be the most bulky part. Um, the other thing would be the strap. I wish that they would include a strap that wasn't a feed through style like this. I just think it's kind of a pain when you're strapping it on the tree you almost have to keep tension on it the whole time. Open the jaws up on this. Make sure you have this flat all the way out. So you're pulling this all the way out. Then you got to feed this through. The camera's jiggling around. It's not terrible, but I just wish they would have, like I said, it's not too terrible. It locks down real good. It's nice and tight. But I just kind of wish that they would have made a buckle style that that is like a buckle that you would click together here and then pull the slack out of it. I think that would have been a lot more functional, a lot easier when you're mounting these cameras, especially when you're trying to be quiet, close to bedding areas, stuff like that. I guess there would be four things that I'd like to change about these cameras. Uh, another thing would be this latch here. So this particular camera, last year I had a thief break into it, steal my SD card out of here, out of the port. But as you can see here, this is where your cable lock goes through. Slide it through these holes, and that goes around the tree. Well, this latch right here is just plastic right around here. So it was real simple for him or them to uh, just snap that plastic piece right there, pop this open, and they, they have full access to my camera, the SD card, the battery pack, um, everything. So I guess if, if I could change one thing or another thing, it'd be that right there. I wish that was like a metal piece of some sort or, or a metal, the whole metal clasp of some sort. Uh, I think that would help deter the breakage of that at least. And then the fourth thing that I found last year that kind of irritated me a little bit was right in the middle of during the rut, it must have been everybody was getting pictures because this thing, I'm not sure if it was the camera itself or if it was just the network um, going to my cell phone, it took forever during that couple weeks of the rut to get pictures and it seemed like I was getting delayed pictures and it just didn't seem like I was getting all the pictures that the camera was actually taking so that was kind of frustrating um, not that huge of a deal but just something to point out so all in all guys for the price point these cameras really can't be beat I mean 
you, they've got a lot of features jam packed into a small little camera here. And so if you're really, if you're interested in getting a new camera for this year or a couple, give these ones a look. I will link them in the description below. You can pick up a single pack. I'll link a, a two pack in there as well that comes with SD cards. I'll also link cable locks separately um, and separate uh, SD cards as well in case you buy a, a single that doesn't come with an SD card or what have you. And I'll link that all down there in the description below so you can build your whole package out. So guys, as always, I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking your time to watch and I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, smash that subscribe button in the corner there so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And as always, thank you again. We'll see you guys all in the next video.